Solve the following without using a calculator. Okay, I have 0 0.5 times 2x plus 8. This equals 0 0.3 times 6x minus 9. So I have 0 0.5 times 2x, okay? Now what would 5 times 2x be? 5 times 2x is what? 10x, isn't it? 5 times 2 is 10. But we have one decimal place, so we'll write the 10x there, but I'll have one decimal place in it. Okay, that would be a 10x if this was a 5, but since it's 0.5, it's 1.0x. Okay, now we're going to take 0 0.5 times 8. Well, 5 times 8 is 40, so this is going to be 4.0, one decimal place. This equals, now 3 times 6 is 18, so 0.3 times x is 1.8x, and 3 times 9 is 27, with one decimal place, okay? Now we have to choose whether to get rid of the 1.0x or the 1.8x. So we pick the smaller of the two. So we're gonna get rid of the 1.0x on both sides, subtract 1.0x. This gives me 4.0 for the left side. This equals, that's like a dollar 80 spending a dollar. That's like 80 cents left, isn't it? Anyway, when you subtract, you get 0.8x minus 2.7, okay? Now, uh, let's copy that up at the top of the page and continue. All right, now, what number is next to the x? Well, besides the coefficient of 0.8, what other number is next to the x? We get rid of the coefficient last, don't we? So what number is next to the x? The negative 2.7. So we will take the opposite of that and put it here and here. Adding the left side, I get 6.7 equals 0.8x. This is canceled. Okay. Now, the variable is x. The coefficient of the variable is 0.8. So I'm going to divide this by 0.8 and divide the 6.7 by 0.8. Now, this over this is 1, and 1 times x is x. This equals, let's write that over on the left-hand side, all we have to do now is divide 6.7 by 0 0.8. When you do that, it comes up with 8.375. Final answer, 8.375.